An inmate at SCI Huntingdon. This is a call from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution. Huntingdon. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, if you have any concern that the person you are speaking with is in mental health crisis or suicidal, please call the State Correctional Institution immediately. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Yo, bro, you ain't suicidal or mental health or no shit like that, are you? What's up? <laughs> what's up, nigga? Shit, what's your dog? I'm chilling, man. I'm sitting right here with my nigga show, man. Philly Fame TV. What's shit, up, man? bro? What's up, baby? My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, bro. <laughs> hey, man, no, listen, up. man, niggas don't know, like, you used to come down the air, you used to be down the air with Dye, you used to be down there fucking with us. Ain't no fucking talk, I got fuck coming down there fucking with y'all niggas. Yeah, that's what I said, yeah, that's what I said, right, I said right before he got booked, he used to be coming down there fucking with us and she used to be hanging down there with us. I got booked right there on the air in front of Max's. Bro, I never do that. That's crazy. Yeah, I was, I was on my way to uh, Lowe's over the nigga with that uh, little, little uh, basketball jump. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I told the nigga not Yo, to live when I was living up 18. I never do that, bro. Because she definitely was hanging down there with us around this time. Yeah, yeah I'm fucking that's crazy. Hey, man, yo, man, listen, man. Niggas been asking for you. I've been out here on my shit, doing this Philly Fame TV shit. And I've been doing these interviews. Yeah, yeah I've been doing these interviews. Niggas was talking about the whole situation with headshots versus touch money top class and all that. I've been getting a bunch of niggas telling their side of the story. I've been putting it on YouTube. Been getting a lot of good feedback. A lot of niggas be commenting and shit. And a lot of people was asking for you. Like, a lot of niggas like, yo, get bricks, yo, get bricks. I'm talking about, yo, it's, it's comments for days, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, a lot of niggas was asking for you, bro. Yeah, I'm here, bro. You already know, but I tell that shit how it is, dog. Right. Well, listen, we live on camera right now, my nigga. Like, you on camera right oh, now, man. You told me I would have been in my bag, man. Well, listen, you ain't getting the bag right yeah. now, man. Talk to the people, man. The people, uh, cause people can hear you, man. Speak to them, man. Hey, man, listen, man. This, this, this bricks, man. This brick around, man. Y'all already fucking know, man. One of the realest niggas Listen, man. You know we right here with Big Bro Chicken and all that. Not me, Big Bro. Hey, listen. Listen, bro. Like, he, he, he got this shit right come on. This free Ricky shit. Yeah, man. This shit gonna be the hottest shit in the streets, bro. Yeah, he just was telling me. Right. Yeah. But we go, we go, we go, we go, we go pause that for a second. We gonna give him that. We gonna give him that. But we gonna start at the beginning. Yeah. Not me. Like, like I said, we here with Big Bro. Big Bro was part of the Candy Click. You grew up under that. I mean, this your big brother. He was already out here in the streets, running around with Sandman on DVDs and shit like that. So what was it like? You being a little bro, seeing your big bro out here on DVDs, getting love, running around the city and all that. What was that like? I mean, like bro, some real shit like. That's, that's what really got me into that shit, man, because I'm like, damn, like... This is a call I, from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution, Huntingdon. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You know, you know, I come up, this nigga in the crib all fucking day, banging instrumentals and rapping and shit, and that shit just like, you know, I wanted to do that shit, man, like, everybody want to be like this big brother when you're young, you feel what I'm saying? Right. I'm just like, damn, like, big bro got the wave out there, I'm ready to jump on board, man. Right. That shit was loud though being around them niggas back then, man. And it's crazy because the first time I ever recorded something was with him. Mmm, where that track there? I got it. Oh, we're gonna have to leak that. We're gonna have to leak that. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. So, with that being said, how you end up getting down with the touch money situation? Like, we did a couple interviews, a couple niggas gave their variation of the story, you know what I mean? Like, poop papers and all of them. But you could give them your side. Like, how you end up fucking with them and all that. I mean, I was, I was, I was backed up of, uh, of Glenn Meadows and shit, and, you know, I was fucking with a couple of niggas, uh, nigga Iron, nigga Pete might that be fucking with me and shit, and, you know, niggas used to hear me rap and shit like, damn, bro, like, yeah, when P you come home, you got... Yeah. P-Bar? Yeah, P-Bar, and, 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 
He was locked up with your glimmers? Yeah, me, him, and her and shit, man. I was fucking with them niggas heavy up there. Okay. They, they like that. They like, they like that. Like, when you come home, it's a whole number wave, like, on the front of the DVD shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I, I wind up bad on NH and, uh, and the music, uh, my man. And then from there, like, I don't know how that shit just happened, but we just started fucking with each other like that, like, you know what I mean? Right, so then you get on the DVDs and shit, you start making the little wave, and you actually had a lot of little battles on the battle type time, like, niggas was telling stories about yeah, battles yeah. was in this shit, like, so you really made your name off of that, like, so talk about some yeah, of that. I was undefeated in that shit, bro. <laughs> 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 Girl, still, like, 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 bro, like, I ain't think no L's, bro. But, you know, like, I don't, back then, man, like, that shit was just like, you know, everybody was trying to go at a go at a motherfucker to get a name or whatever, and I was just like on some hungry shit, bro. Like, cause I, I had more so like a, a, of a street mentality with that shit, man. Like, I ain't backing down from nobody. I don't go for this who is you with. Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution, Huntingdon. This call is subject to recording and monitor. I ain't go for who was man. Like you had problems, and you had to go at that time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So give them some classic battles in your opinion. Like, what was a what was a battle that stood? Because you had a lot of them, so what was a battle that stood out to you? Like, I mean, give them that. What that I was in? Yeah, like, who was your toughest opponent or the best battle you think you was in? Oh, some shit, bro. Like, I don't even think this show was, like, I never even recorded, but when I was on a run, I had battled the nigga, uh, Stax Ruger. That joint was lit, bro. I forgot we, we was at like some little club or some shit. Shout out to I don't remember where we was at. But that shit, yeah, shout out to Ruger, man. That's shout my guy Ruger. right there. Bro. I wish we could have seen that, man. I wish we could have seen that. Yeah, yeah he, it was motherfuckers there, though. He, he, he know what I'm talking about. That shit went down. We was going on that, man. That's like one of the main joints I really can remember. The rest of them joints are like kind of like layups, bro. Right. <laughs> all right. All right. So now let's get to this situation, man. The whole, the whole situation with headshots. Like I said, a lot of people told their side of the story. Now, I mean, we ain't get brick and roll side of the story, and that's what a lot of people wanted to hear. So, how, how that whole, I mean, give them that whole rundown. Yeah, like far as that, like, like I told you, I had already knew, uh, Iron and Pima, and I'm trying to say, so I it wasn't like, on my end, bro, like, it wasn't nothing personal. I ain't had no beef with none of them niggas because at the end of the day, man, like, I looked at beef differently. Like, so that shit was just rap shit. And, you know, I think that shit started with, like, with, like, uh, Pad and, and uh, Grip was, and, you know, I'm just, I'm riding for, for my guys at the time, man. Like, it was whatever with me, man. Like, so that's the only, like, niggas ain't really even say my name, bro. Like, because I don't, I don't know why. That shit wasn't, like, not personal on my end. Like, it was just whatever. I was just riding for my guys, man. And I was just, I was just for the cause. Like, however that shit would end up, that's how that shit would end ended up. I mean, but, you know, I, I didn't ran into Meek and I ran into Head. And, so you know, I'm talking about why that shit was going down at the time. Like, that shit, like, wasn't not personal or not like that. So, you know, I just left that shit at red like that. You feel me? Right. Alright, so what was your thoughts so on, like, after the whole situation ended, like, everybody kind of told the story about how it all ultimately came to an end, and then, you know, headshots kind of had their situation where they kind of all went their own way, and they had a little turmoil amongst them, and then on y'all end, what what happened was, uh, not end up getting booked, so did not get booked before you, or was that after you? I don't remember, that shit was a minute ago. I got locked up before you. Right, right, yeah, right, 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 right. I think that shit, I don't know, I think that shit was nutty how it ended because, you know, all fuckers, all fuckers could have capitalized off that shit back then, bro, like, real shit, man. And I be looking at it now, like, I be seeing, like, them, them shot rack niggas and all that, like, don't get it fucked up. Like, they throwing them, and they got the wave, and them niggas is hot. But, like, that's really, like, our wave right there, you feel what I'm saying? Absolutely, I've been saying, yo, off camera, I had conversations with people, and I always be saying that, like, exactly the way yeah. they done, that's what, what niggas was on when YouTube first kicked off, like. Yeah, I ain't, like, don't get it fucked up, like, I ain't knocking them niggas, you feel what I'm saying, I respect them. Definitely respect them. But, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, like, I'm just like, yo, like, I ain't respect them, like, I'm just like, yo, like, I ain't Absolutely, I agree 100%, bro, real rat. So, before, 
So after Nia get booked, and uh, I mean, that, that was the situation with the hut. Nia and Pook got booked. I mean, well, yeah, I need to get to that because, you know, you and Pook, that, that, I mean, I did the interview with Pook, and, you know, Pook was telling us, like, y'all was your guy. Like, y'all, y'all was really like a little group and all that. So get, get your side of that, that, that your uh, situation, your relationship with Pook Papers and all that, man. So we gonna bring them back up to speed a little bit. So after the hut went down, you know, like we were saying before, before we started the interview, like used to be down the air with us and all that. So give them the rundown. Like once the hut um, went down up into the point you fell, what was you doing? Like what was Bricks doing? Was he still making music? Like how the shit was from there? Yeah, like once, so, so once the uh, once I got fucked, the hut was like over. You know, motherfuckers start like going they separate ways and shit, man. Like. I still was on me, like, on the music tip, but, like, around that time, I, I, I was on the running shit, so I couldn't really, like, be all the way in the mix that I wanted to be. But, you know, I was dropping music. I, like, my brother got some shit that I was dropping. I'm saying, uh, rest in peace to my man. He's got a lot of shit that I dropped, and I'm saying, and, you know, I was coming down there, coming down the ass, fuck with Charles, down lights down, fuck with niggas down there. And I'm saying, going OT out the kind of shit, doing shit like that. And I'm saying, I definitely got some shit out there, man. Like, that shit, like, I'm still doing that shit to this day, bro. Like, even when it be time, I feel like giving that shit up, man, through my situation, bro. Like, I still got that shit, man, and I'm still the tip of that shit. You know what I mean? Of course, my little bitch I was dealing with, I ain't gonna say her name, but, you know, she, uh, she had some little shit going on that a lot of them would name go. So she, like, man, come through, you know, rap or whatever, body, body. I'm like, man, I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna pull up and shit. So, me and my man on our way here, you know, the law jump out on us right in front of Max and this shit. And I'm saying they booked me or whatever. And, you know, I've been down since then. It's summer 08, bro. Summer 08, man. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's going on like 10 years then, there, man. Yeah, it's kind of hard, bro. Right. So where where you been at the whole time? Cause I know Nas said in his interview he's like he was up there with you or he's up there before you and then you came up there and you was up there with him for a minute before he touched down. So give him that whole spill like when you came in and you seen Nas and all that. Yeah, uh, uh, I came from uh from, from the fourth, and I went up there and then I, I I slide up here and shit. You know Nas, that's my man. I ain't seen him in years, so. So that shit was just like digging with love, bro. Like, so we was up this young vibe for a couple years and shit. And you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I ain't, I ain't even gonna fight. Nah, I'm just doing shit for me too, man. So shout out to Nah, man. Like, that's my man. But you know, like, uh, we was up this young just, you know, talking and shit and, and really catching up, man. Like, and I'm, I'm trying to get this nigga to, like, let him know, like, what I want him to do when he get out there, like, as far as the music shit, bro. Because, yeah, bro. I'm not that. Like, at the end of the day, like, that shit can still make something happen with that shit. Yeah, I was telling that nigga, like, damn, bro, like, you know, he, he was saying, like, shit from my point of view while we was in his job, like, how my motherfuckers out there taking off, and man, like, like, what avenues are used and shit, and I was just telling him, like, bro, like, you gotta go on with that shit, man, like, and, like, let motherfuckers know, like, motherfuckers that forgot about me, man, like, let them niggas know, like, like, I'm still around, like, regardless of me staying in this job, or, you know, how much time I got or whatever. Like, I'm still around. As a matter of fact, let me address one thing real fast. Because I never really addressed this shit before, man. Because I've been so 
feel like, like, it's already understood, ain't gotta be explained, but, you know, I be hearing like a lot of motherfuckers talking about, I told or, you know, I got life. Let me, let me tell y'all niggas this, man, like, my real name, Walter White, dog. You're not gonna never see that name on no paperwork ever, dog. And if I can run into anybody that ever says some shit about me telling out they mouth, man, I'm gonna try to kill one of them niggas, man. I'm gonna be fighting they homicide, man. I put that on my kids, dog. As far as me got life and all that, I ain't got life, man. I got 30 to 70 years, man. Yeah, it's a long time, but I'll be the fuck back out there, man. And, and I'm fuck around and pop out there before motherfuckers know it. You feel what I'm saying? But, uh, back, back to what I was saying about nah and shit. Like, I was just telling a nigga, man, like, just go out there and go hard, man. That's basically it, you feel me? Alright. Alright, did you ever move or you been up there the whole time since he left? Did they ever move you to another joint or you stayed there? Uh, I've been up this show for eight years, bro. Right. Right. I'm ready to get the fuck up this John. bro. <laughs> nah, for sure, man. Lord willing, man. Real right. Yeah. Uh, so going through that experience, not I me, mean, because mind you, you was bricks, you was on DVD, so I know niggas recognize you and shit like that, so I know that was an experience in itself. Like, share a little bit of that. Like, when you got in there, other niggas recognizing you, like, what was that like? These niggas be treating me like I'm cheesy or something like, bro. <laughs> Real shit, man. Like, this shit be crazy. Like, you know, I mean, that's like, this, like, for the first time, this is when I really realized, like, like, man, like, how much motherfuckers really was into that DVD shit back then, you feel what I'm saying? Because I come in and tell whatever, and, you know, like, it's just a look the motherfucker give you. Like, you can tell when a motherfucker recognize you from rapping or when a motherfucker recognize you, like, because you done did something to one of their homies or something, and, you know, like, that shit just be all love, like, I done had motherfuckers come to me, like, yo, bro, like, I, I grew up listening to this shit, and, you know, motherfuckers from Miami and fucking Ohio and all types of places emailing me, like, telling me, like, damn, bro, like, you one of the realest niggas I know on a rat tip and all that, like, that shit feel good, bro, that shit be love, like, you know, of course you got motherfuckers that's gonna hate or you know, say some indirect shit, but, you know, I never heard the shit, that, the shit, like, nobody never said this shit to my face, but, for the most part, this is a call from uh, Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution, Huntingdon. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Where? Hey, man. <laughs> Alright, so going through that experience and that amount of time you've been down, like, what's a, what's a, some, uh, a message you can share with some people that can help them avoid walking down the path and going through the situation that you went through. Like, it's a lot of people tone dance, maybe some young boys listening, so share some game with them, right? Hey, man, like, the, the, the best thing I can tell a motherfucker, man, like, just, just, just know who you're around, man, and, and, and don't trust everybody, man, because, you know, there might be a motherfucker that you think fair or... You know, you might think this shit, man, or, you know, y'all come up together or whatever. I like that be the same nigga that'll that are, that are talk to them folks, man, when they get in that room, man. So, you know, I can't, I can't preach to a motherfucker and tell a motherfucker not, not what to do because, you know, where we come from, sometimes a nigga gotta get it however they can get it, man. So my only advice would be just, you know, do, do shit on your own, man. Like, don't, don't, don't have no homies around you when you doing whatever you doing, man. Like, do that shit for the muscle, man, and, and, and if you get... Get booked on whatever you're doing, man. Become that man. Damn tall, man. That's the man. Right. Right, right. All right, put, you already said your name in the LA, your government name, Walter White. You got to tell them where you at for people that want to contact you, want to write you and all that, man. So plug your info, man, so people will get with you, man. Uh, and, and, uh, there's Walter White, my mom, my, my DOC number, is JQ, nine nine zero five. I'm up under it. The address is 1100 Pike Street, 100 PA, 16654-112. Get with me, man. Hey, Bruce, give us some bars, man. Fuck that. Yeah, it's going to go out. Yeah, man. Talk you got to you gotta let them know you still, you, still, you still who you was before, you know what I mean? Like, let them know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a scares real fast. I said, uh, I said, I'm from Ruby Street. I'm a West Sider. A young nigga, 17, let them text all her. Catch a homicide just to see that next dollar. This is nigga, a call really from Pennsylvania State dollar. Correctional Institution. Panting then. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Nigga, you don't really ride, use the test driver. My niggas ride without a registration. 
And I'll be catching wreck just for recreation. Them crackers keep me in investigation. Cause you pussies come to jail, put in separations. Uh, and I can tell you how this shit feel. Bodies drop around my way home and this shit real. Niggas dying every day, it ain't no big deal. Cause where I'm from, you even kill or you get killed. You even get rocked or you get wills. How many years the judge gave you? Ten mil. If a bitch will set you up, your own friend will. Play the back seat and blow your brains to the windshield. How many dudes you know in the obituary? Also, my niggas in the cemetery. But now they've seen too many make it buried. Niggas hold court in the street and die preliminary. Oh. Uh. Before I want me, bitch, I'm John Wayne. Stone Cold Killer, I don't play no kind of games. Keep throwing naked like you got some kind of name. And you gon' die pump faking like LeBron James. Uh, cause many men, they wish death upon me. I come through the city with this tech up on me. I might switch and put the heck on me. Catch a nigga slipping and start wrecking on him. I let this Glock 40 through the hammer dance. Put a couple holes in his hoodie and his pants. There ain't no need to call an ambulance. I shot him close range. He ain't stand a chance. He ain't see me coming. Cause I was walking down. 44 Magnum, swing that revolver round. He was talking shit, and he ain't talking now. He couldn't even pick his whole head from off the ground. He was hard to kill, like he had nine lives. Him and his homies Rex. Three blind mice. This ladder's so big, you can climb five flights. I shot him 20 times. That pussy died twice. Uh, the bitch is telling and the witness telling. The bitch is telling and the niggas telling. And them niggas that's killing niggas telling. So they the reason why there's all these real niggas in the system killing. Uh, they gon' respect me cause I stand up. When it was beef, I didn't chill, I ran up. Did the crime, got the time, and manned up. Then I walked out the court, I'm like, hey, what? Bitch ass niggas. <laughs> hey, Frank, give him some more. Fuck that. Fuck that, baby. I'm tired of telling uh, niggas this shit. Give him some more. I'm tired of telling niggas this shit, show. Give him some more, bro. <laughs> give him some fucking more. Uh, yeah. Give, yeah. Him, give him some more, man. Fuck that. You give him some more? Yeah, give him some more. Give him some more. You think that's what? Yeah, you might as well. You might as well. Give him that shit. Give him that shit. That shit you said when you was like my, uh, something about chick something send that check through. Something, something. My niggas ain't, you know what I mean? I forgot that shit, but. I don't even remember that shit, but I so much in my head. Right, well, give me uh, shit then, fuck it. I said, Bourbon Street, motherfucker, I claim that forever. I walk around with that same black, but right on one head, shot to make your brain splat, whatever. I used to think I could change rap forever to them snitches, help the cops my name back together. You lame's rap, whatever. And even if you only told one time, you still be that same rap forever. I'm just a street nigga, you can't fix that. If they come in with that dumb shit, tell them I'm with that. I'm quick to make this 40 hoity click clack. I push a nigga shit back, don't you ever forget that. I heard they on Instagram like where bricks at. Tell them nothing ass niggas, I say give me my dick back. I keep something extended tough with a hit back. It's dirty in this clip, you and your homies can split that. Shout out to them niggas out there hating on me. And shout out to them bitches out there waiting on me. I'ma dick them down, let them sleep naked on me. Keep the chopper case, a man creep throwing the basement on me. I said, niggas, know the rules on my block. If you talk crazy, you getting shot. Don't come around with those one said it Better roll them down for you, spend a block. I hit a lick for a couple joints, put the mask on, ran in the spot. Shit, hit the fan, couple niggas died, and I was on the news for 10 o'clock. I don't fuck with that nigga twice from the dark street, cause he froze on me. Them and that nigga T, they got locked up and they towed on me. Ride hard for jazz, oh, to the dead, rest my soul on it. When I run into that nigga that kill weeds, I'ma unload on it. I ain't copping no deals, nigga. I be popping that still, nigga. Four pound with a rubber brick like a slave owner. I kill niggas. Everybody talk homicides to them judges coming, they will, niggas. They the crime, I got the time, they say a word, that's real, nigga. Catch me down SP on Pay Street with my nigga Poop. Only time I'm on Southwest when I'm with a bitch and when I'm in a booth. Nice town held the nigga down when I was on a run, I was getting low. One thing you need to know about group streets, them niggas shoot. You fuck around and get smoked. You fuck around and get smoked. My young and Joey down kids and tell be fuck around with that dope. Them no fishes be tricking hard. You might fuck around and go broke. Uptown hoes suck everything. I be busting all the niggas broke. I mean, hey, 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 Surrounding me right now like I'm on the fucking stage, you hear me? <laughs> yeah, look. Hey, yo, listen. Hey, 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 bro, the guard boss that beating on the desk.
Hey yo, listen, man. We go, we gonna keep, we gonna keep the people updated. I'm, we gonna hit you up every now and then. I'm like bricks, yo. I need some bars. We gonna feed the channel with some bars. anytime, man. Anytime you wanna drop, hey, hey, hey. bro. Hey, bro, man. I, I appreciate this shit, dog. Like, man, keep doing your thing out there, man. And make sure you, you tell them motherfuckers, man, that that that, that free bricky shit coming soon, man. Chick dropping that free bricky shit. That shit gonna be crazy. And man, poop dropping is so my pain too, man. That shit gonna be crazy too, bro. Early, early. So yeah, we gonna keep the people updated, man. You still gonna be hitting them with shit, so we gonna keep them updated, yeah. man. For sure, for sure, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. This your, this your boy Brooker Rob, man. Shout out to the early fame, man. They my guys, man.